Good morning and a very warm welcome to KTN News Center this Tuesday morning. We are glad that you could join us even as we have a look at the stories making headlines right here in the country and across our neighboring borders. My name is Purity Museo Nzuki and today we engage the chair Kenya Union of Clinical Officers that's Peterson Washira as we look at the state of the healthcare in the country. Remember medics which include the, the clinical officers have vowed to go on strike in at least eight counties now for lack of their March salaries, delayed March salaries. We have that conversation. But first, the Commission for Revenue Allocation, CRA, has been accused of frustrating efforts to employ medical personnel to serve Kenyans in public health institutions. According to CIA Governor James Orengo, the CRA is always opposed to the employment of doctors, nurses, and other medics on the account that doing so would expand the wage bill. He was speaking at the Siaya County Referral Hospital during the launch of a week-long cervical cancer screening campaign organized by the Lake Region Economic Block, that's LREB County First Pulses Association. The governor said it was the responsibility of both the national and county governments to ensure that there were enough medical personnel to serve Kenyans. The chairperson of the LREB Association of First Spouses, Emily Nyaribo, called on the National Hospital Fund, uh, that's NHIF, to stop discriminating against cancer patients. Which means the numbers are highest in the Lake Region. There is cervical cancer in the whole country but the numbers are highest in the Lake Region. And we have to do something. And as first spouses, as you know, are we elected? Yes. No. Are first spouses elected? No. Are they employed? No. They do service to humanity. One of the things that we have in the health sector is about our planning, our vision, and what comes from the national government as policy. I always say that a salary given to a doctor or a nurse cannot be part of the wage bill. Because all the time CRA, CRA will tell you, you can't employ doctors because you're expanding your wage bill. Money paid to doctors and nurses is not part of the wage bill. It's part of our duty to make sure that we have doctors, we have nurses, so that we can succeed in our health uh, campaign. And I want to say that in the recruitment exercise that is going on, we, one of the biggest bunch of people who want to recruit, and this is ongoing, is in the health sector, which will include doctors. And I hope Konyango and uh, Dr. Omondi, you know, I hope you are recruiting an oncologist, one or two because that has been an issue in all our discussions today. All right, and that uh, report, it takes us to